Greetings citizens, Pagan Linux Geek here with a video guide to setting up your joystick controllers in Star Citizen. There's been some keybind changes in the later versions, especially when it comes to master modes. Work together on this to help you get set up. This setup method will work for any kind of controller, whether it's a single stick, a double setup sticks, mixed brand, same brand, doesn't matter, a stick and a throttle or a HOTUS. Uh, sticks and rudder pedals, it really doesn't matter. Just move the appropriate axis for the input control that you want. I'll also guide you through fixing it if your left and right sticks suddenly switch places. Sometimes that can happen when Star Citizen gets the device order different the next time you load. Exporting, saving, and renaming your keybinds so that you can keep them safe in the event that you need to upgrade or repair your computer. This setup guide does not require the use of joy to key target software, or joystick gremlin. So let's get started. From the main menu, you're going to click the options button down on the lower left, keybinds button in the upper right, you're going to arrow over the joystick HOTUS button on the lower right, click advanced on the lower left, click control on the bottom, then go up to reset the default, click mouse for mouse, keyboard for keyboard, joystick and load and so on. In the top, pick the flight movement section. We're going to double click pitch. I'm going to move my right stick forward. See, it says Y axis input three. Double click yaw. I'm going to move my right stick left to right. And for roll, double click. And I'm going to twist my right stick. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to find strafe up and down. Double click that. I'm going to twist my left stick. My strafe left and right, ABS. Double click that. Move my left stick to left and right. Answer yes. Now locate throttle forward, backward. Throttle forward, back. Double click that. And move my left stick forward. Answer yes. I'm going to find cycle master mode short press. Double click that. And on my left stick, I'm going to push my analog stick towards the left. Scroll up to vehicle seats and operator modes. Double click missile operator mode. Double click that. I'm going to use my right stick's analog stick towards the left for that. And launch missiles. Double tap that. I like using my big red button on my right stick. Cycle missile type. We're going to double click that. I'm going to push my analog stick out. Double click increase number of armed missiles. I'm going to push my analog up. And for decrease, I'm going to use down. Now we're going to scroll and look for vehicle weapons. Double click fire weapon group one. I'm going to squeeze the trigger on my right stick. For fire weapon group two, I just squeeze the trigger on my left stick and answer yes. I'm going to collapse that down. My vehicle's targeting. Scroll down and locate where it says lock selected target. Double click. I like to use my rapid fire towards me. For unlock target, I like to use my rapid fire away from me. I'm going to scroll back up. Collapse this. Find quantum travel. Double click that. I like to use my left sticks analog out. Answer yes. Now we click on control profiles on the bottom. Go up to save control settings at the tippy top. Click on that and give our profile a name. I'm going to use dual BKB space combat editions. I'll make this keybind set available. Answer save. Click back. And let's go into Arena Commander and test it. So we don't need to be online. Let's go offline mode here. And over on the lower right, we're, we're going to choose launch. Free Flight. Okay, for vehicle selection, we're going to pick one that has both primary and secondary weapons and missiles. And spawn in. We're spawned in. Let's check our movement here. How's our pitch? Pitch is good. Nice. Yeah. 
is good. Nice. What about roll? That way is good. This way is good. Okay. Strafe. Our upward strafe is good. Down strafe is good. Okay. Our left and rights are good. How about our forward and backwards? Oh, we push forward and the ship goes back. We pull back and the ship goes forward. We don't want that. I'm going to show you how you can fix that. You're going to click options. Then you're going to hit controls the tippy top. Arrow over to joystick HOTUS 1. That is the same device number that is my left stick. Under inversion and flight and flight movement, we're going to scroll down and find throttle forward back. Going to change that to yes. And answer back. And return to game. And let's check it again. Throttle forward, ship most forward. Nice movement looks good now. Primary fire is good. Secondary fire is good. Love it. Okay, and our missile mode goes on. Increase, decrease, change missile type. How about the shoot skis? Can we shoot some? And missiles away. That's our basic weapon controls all right there. Let's escape and return to the main menu. And we're going to hit the tilde key to open up our console. And the reason for this is I want to show you how you find your device number information. If you hit I and then underscore D like Delta, you can hit tab to complete I dump devices in, in information. And then hit the enter key, and this will show a screen with the information that Star Citizen found for your joysticks. You'll notice that the first stick found says joystick 0, and joystick 2 is the third stick found. In my particular setup, I have two joysticks and a throttle. So the first stick found is device 0, the throttle is device 1, and the second stick is the joystick 0, 2. If we want to swap those devices, we can do that easily enough. This is a way that you fix your left and right sticks being in the wrong position. If you start up Star Citizen and your left is your right and your right is your left, you can just PP underscore R and tab out to auto complete it. It will fill in resort and finish with joysticks and then the two numbers you need to swap. That lets you quickly swap your left and your right sticks. Okay, let's get into saving our keybinds. So by default, your keybinds are located in your Robert Space Industries Star Citizen folder. The default installation is on program files in your on your C drive. Look for Robert Space Industries. Double click that. Double click your Star Citizen folder inside there. And then live. And then double click user. Double click client. Then zero. Controls. Mappings. And you'll find your keybinds file that we created earlier, right in here. Dual VKB Space Combat Editions. There you are. That is the basic basic setup section. Now let's get into the advanced keybinds. Just some keybinds that I find useful and I want to share them with you. So if you click on your vehicles and your targeting, your target cycling, you're gonna find one that says cycle lock. Hostiles are set the closest. Double click that. I like to use my right sticks, left hat. So outside is closest hostile. Going to find friendlies, double click that. Push down. Going to find closest attackers, reset closest. Push up. And now we're going to cycle lock all forward. And that's out. That lets you quickly set up your targeting keybinds. All right, so now we're going to go into our flight movement, find boost. I like to set my left stick up for that. Our speed limiter on, off, hold, toggle, double click that. I like to use my middle hat out towards the right. Now, space brake, I like to double click that and set my middle hat down. So up is boost and down is brake. And now we're going to find throttle trim limiter. Now, make sure you look for the one that says long press. Double click long press. I'm going to use my middle hat out towards the left. 
And now when I want to set the speed for the throttle trim, see it's the short press, release short press. Double click that, same button. That lets me use the same button for both controls. A long press to set it and a short press to clear it. So under vehicle shields and countermeasures, double click noise deploy. I like to hit the nose button on my right stick for that. And then decoy. There's that little gray button on the front of the stick. I like to use that for mine. There you are, folks. There's your keybind setup. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you spending the time with me to go through these. If you have questions or problems, feel free, feel free to reach out to me on Discord or find me on Twitch or YouTube. I stream three days a week. And I'm happy to answer any questions you have or maybe even help troubleshoot your setup. See you later.